garlic and herb, smashed potatoes. I'm gonna be using fingling potatoes. So let's get started. But first, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified when I create a new video. Like and share this video, it really helps out the channel. Now let's get into the recipe. Well, today I'm gonna to be making these tiny little fingerling potatoes. Pretty, pretty tender. Uh, you don't have to worry about uh, uh, taking the skin off. The skin is, is really, uh, really thin. Poke some holes in here just so the steam kind of releases. You can add just like a tablespoon of liquid in here, a little water in there and cover them with damp paper towel like this just to kind of keep that steam in there. I'm gonna put them in the microwave for about five minutes just until a fork goes all the way through. Now the potatoes are all done. They only took about three or four minutes depending how stacked you make them. If you've got a lot of them in there, obviously it's gonna take longer. You can add about a tablespoon of olive oil, black pepper, pinch of salt, some chopped parsley, garlic, grate that in here. Italian seasoning, grated Parmesan Asiago cheese, some basil leaves. So I'm just gonna give this oil a stir. Okay, then I'm gonna grab uh, the potatoes. Let's grab just a few, I'm gonna just do a few of them. Just give them a spin in this herb and oil, olive oil mixture. My waffle iron is set to four. It, it goes from one to five, it's set to four. So one on each segment, like this. Okay, right in the middle. Give it a little press here so we get it started. So I'm gonna close the waffle maker and give it a nice press here. Nice and easy, so it smashes potatoes. Okay, and we're gonna let it cook until that goes off. It should be nice and crisped up. If not, we'll let it cook a little longer. All right, look at that, huh? Nice and smashed. Crispy edges a little bit. That's good, it works out. So let's get these on a plate. Get them on here. So I'm gonna use the remaining oil and seasoning here. Over the top, that's some garlic in there, some basil, parsley, a little salt and pepper. All right, get a little bit more of the Parmesan cheese. Let's just, let's just get some of that on there. Oh yeah, these will go good with any meat meal, like a pork, a beef, chicken. Great as a side, even great by themselves. Really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed my simple smashed potatoes recipe. Also check out these uh, videos here from my channel. And again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.